Bamboo Lab has been very kind to the channel and they sent me this P1S combo in September and then I was sent the P2S combo in November. So I thought I'd take the time to answer the question I've been getting a lot, which one of these two should I get? Honestly, the print quality from both of these is phenomenal. And really, you'd be hard pressed to tell the difference between the prints off of these or even off of the A1 or the A1 Mini. There's just a bunch of other features that make it worth upgrading. The first feature, and it probably shouldn't be the first one, is the screen. That big color touchscreen is a delight. It makes using this printer a lot easier. I don't have to go through my phone. You wouldn't upgrade just for that, but boy, it is a big deal. The P2S is a bit faster, thanks to a better extruder, better cooling, and better motors in the AMS2, it prints faster and it does it without risking your prints. The biggest reason to jump from an A-series printer to a P-series printer is the enclosure. That keeps the environment around your print regulated, which means less warping and just better, more dependable prints in general. So the P2S is even better than the P1S. It has a lot more airflow regulation, actually putting in cool air if the chamber is getting too hot, which can be bad for things like PLA. And thanks to more heat in the bed, an extra 10 degrees, you can get better adhesion on things like ABS or other materials. The P1S combo and the P2S combo both have an AMS that's a multicolor system. The P2S comes with the AMS2. The AMS2 can actually have multiple types of filament loaded at once, and the color changing is a little bit faster. There's a whole bunch of other improvements that other reviewers get into a little bit better. It's a lot quicker to change the nozzle on the P2S. I really like that the bottom of the printer is flush with the door so I can sweep out all the little filament bits that gather sometimes. Hey, this one even has a handle on the side. Okay, okay, so we've gone through the whole pitch, but which one should you buy? The P1S combo right now is under $700 Canadian. That is an amazing price for what you're getting. As soon as I got this one, I was in love and printing with it full time until I got this one. I mean, I'm using them both. The P2S combo is $1,049 as of right now. Canadian, if you're really price sensitive, that's a pretty big difference. And if you think that you're just gonna be using basic materials, the P1S will save you some money. But if you have a little bit more to spend, I would suggest the P2S over it, just for some of those quality of life things. Having a filament dryer built into the AMS, that's really handy. That extra airflow inside of the printer. I'm printing in a cold garage. I live on the coast, there's a lot of moisture. All of that is just helping make my prints easier even more consistent. Stay tuned and I'm gonna be doing a similar chat comparing the A1 and the A1 Mini. And maybe someday down the road, I'll be able to talk about some of those new bamboo printers on the higher end, the H series. But for most of us hobbyists, this is gonna be the sweet spot right here.